Hey everyone, it's DIY Gemini, and today we're making a plush toy. So Valentine's Day is coming up really, really soon, and if you're looking for a last minute DIY gift that's only gonna take two to three hours, and you have a partner, a friend, or relative, or whomever that loves Bad Bunny, Bad Bunny my mama. I got you, friend. Today we're making the iconic heart from his front cover of Un Verano Sinti, his latest album, which is on repeat all of last year, especially in the summer, and probably still on repeat this year. Let's get real. Drop a bunny emoji in the comments if you like that funny. <laughs> All right, let's uh, make a flush. Here are the materials we need. First, we have filler for our toy. I'm using the shredded foam, but you can also use polyfill or filler from an old pillow. Next, fabric and thread in red, black, and white. I'm using the soft and minky line from Joann's, but you can also use fleece for this. We also have some pins, a fabric marking pen, scissors, and a sewing machine. I also ended up using some black felt as well. I also recommend having a lint roller handy because the shedding is crazy. Okay, so first steps are to cut the fabric using our stencils. I'll make sure to put a printable download available in the description. For most of our cuts, we're going to be making two of each so you'll see the fabric folded over so that we can get two identical cuts. To make sure our stencils stay in place, we're going to pin it to both layers of the fabric. Now let's cut. I've already allowed for a quarter inch seam allowance on the stencil so we can cut right along the stencil. Let's clean this up a little bit. For the white fabric, we're going to be cutting the hands and the white part of the eye. Let's start with the hands. So same thing, we're going to fold this over so we get two copies of the left hand and two copies of the right hand. Let's trace it out and cut out our pieces. Next is the white part of the eye. Unfortunately, I didn't put a quarter inch seam allowance on the stencil, so I'm just drawing it by hand manually, but I'll make sure to put that in the principal download. Then we're going to cut out the boots slash legs from the black fabric. This is one of the messiest because the fuzzies got everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> we'll also take the black part of the eye from the same fabric. Okay, we have our cutouts laid out. You'll see at the top, I tried to make the arms and frown out of that minky fabric, but it didn't go very well, so we'll use felt instead. Okay, this black felt is from the craft section, which is about anywhere from 50 cents to $2, depending on the quality. We're going to cut the arms and the frown out of this. To add a little structural integrity, we're going to make two copies of each arm, but we only need one copy of the frown. All right, we're ready to get sewing. So let's start with our black pieces first. So we're just gonna thread our sewing machine with our black thread. For the arms, we're going to do a zigzag stitch along the edge as a faux serge edge all around. Next, let's do the boots slash feet and the eye. We're going to need a straight stitch all the way around with a quarter inch seam. So we have our boot, let's make sure we don't have any gaps in our stitching. I just use the pencil to poke around to see if there's any holes. If I see the pencil on the other side, I make sure to cover that up and re-sew that area. If there's no holes, let's turn it right side out and look at our little boot. For the bottom of the eye, we will fold the raw edge inside and then we'll sew a straight stitch along the bottom to close it. On to the white pieces! Let's change our thread and bobbin. And now we got our hands and the white part of the eye. For the hands, we'll sew a straight stitch all the way around except for the bottom, so we'll use that to turn it right side out. For the eye, we will do the same stitch and leave the bottom open. Now let's turn them all right side out. Next, we'll assemble the eye using our black and white parts. Remember to tuck in our raw edge inside and sew it directly onto the back part of the eye. We're using white thread to sew the white part onto the black part of the eye. All right, let's bring the heart back and place the eye and frown on the appropriate place. I use the pin to hold the eye down and some temporary fabric glue to hold the frown. We will then use black thread to do a straight stitch along the eye and a zigzag stitch along the edge of the frown. Let's go! Here's a little close up of what the zigzag stitch looks like. Okay. 
Now we're going to stuff the hands and boots with whatever filler you have. I like the shredded foam because it feels a little bit more like plush and I have the smaller pieces I'll use in the hands and just enough to fill it but not overdo it. For the boots, we'll use the larger foam pieces to fill as well. To add back some details in the hands, I'm going to sew along the edge and also lines down this way to create some fingers. We can also attach the arm into the inside, making sure to tuck in the raw edge. When sewing, remember to go really slow and take your time, especially around the curves. There's a lot of small little turns. Also as a tip, when you're going around curves and turning around your fabric, when you need to make a sharp turn or anything, you can have your needle down into the fabric, lift up the presser foot, and then turn your fabric so you don't lose your place in the fabric. We got all of our pieces sewn and ready to put it together. Let's take our heart right side up, line up the boots at the base of the heart so that the raw edge sits a quarter inch outside the edge of the heart. We're gonna do that for both the boots and let's pin them to the heart. Now pin the arms, the hands going towards the center and the other side of the arm just sticking out of the edge by a quarter inch. Now line up the other side of the heart so that the right sides face each other and the wrong side is facing up. Pin all the way around. We'll then sew a straight stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance. Make sure to have your arms and legs are pinned in place and you can see the little overhang at the edge. Now we're gonna leave this roughly three, four inch gap here so that we can turn it inside out. You can either use a pin or a marker to remind yourself when sewing so you know when to stop. Now, of course, we're gonna be using the red thread to sew all the way around, except for that three to four inch gap that we made at the top. Okay, let's get our right side out. Let's pull out the legs first. You can use your fingers to get all the little corners out as well. And let's fill it up. I used some of the scrap paper to make a funnel to make it easier to drop the foam pieces in. Last but not least, we will use a ladder stitch to sew our whole clothes. This is also known as the invisible stitch. I will link a detailed tutorial on how to do this stitch in the cards and in the description. Basically, we'll take the red thread and sew parallel to the hole. You can use a eighth or a quarter inch piece of one side of the fabric, go across and take an eighth or a quarter inch on the other side. And then when you pull, the seams close in on itself and the thread virtually disappears. And it closes the hole. Okay, this is how a corazonito triste turned out. Okay, I love it. It's so cute and soft and cuddly and it's, oh, I just love it. I adore it. It's adorable. I honestly might can make a bigger one. We'll see. Um, but if you end up following this tutorial and making one of these yourself, please, please, please tag me on Instagram and TikTok at hi DIY Gemini. I would love to see it. Um, but yeah, thank you for following the, along. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And I can't wait to see you at the next one. Happy Valentine's Day. Bye. <laughs> Más simétrica que un origami